Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here. You'll get notifications for this series and many others on our channel. Today what we're going to do is video 2 for multivariable calculus. We're in chapter 1, which is partial derivatives, we're going to call it. Working towards getting this. Section 1.1 is functions of several variables. And then there we, last time what we did was we looked at the uh, functions of several variables. In particular, we looked at functions of two variables. So now we're considering uh, z equals f of x, y, where x and y are the independent variables and z depends on those. What we now can do still with this scenario is we can graph the, sketch the graph of z and it's going to now be a surface in three space instead of a curve in the plane like we did for functions of one variable. Let's do that. Okay, as I was saying, for functions z equals f of x, y, they're now a function of two variables. The graph, gur of f, or whatever you're going to denote this by, we're not getting into it. Usually we'll call it the surface s, but it's now definitely a surface in three space over a domain d. Last time what we would do is we would have a curve y equals f of x, over an interval a b in r now it's a surface over a domain in r2 r2 is the plane this x y plane good more rigorously the definition says that if d is a subset of r2 and f is a function from d to r it's a function of two variables, then the graph of f of x, y is the set of all points x, y, z in R3, such that the third coordinate z is the function f of x, y. More explicitly, what does that mean? The graph of f is equal to x, y, f of x, y, those points which are in R3, such that x, y is a point in our domain, D. This is the graph. It's a surface in three space now, not a curve in the plane. Let's do some examples. Example one says sketch the graph of z, which is a function of x and y, which is 3 minus 2x plus y. Essentially what this is with some experience, and this is why we're doing the baby ones first, but this is all linear. This is going to be a plane in three space. This is what it's going to be. How are we going to sketch that? First of all, z equals 3 minus 2x plus y, if and only if. That's a good way to uh, put values in there. But another way we can do this is this is 2x minus y plus plus z minus 3 equals 0, which is the general equation of a plane in space. Look at my videos on their linear algebra, and you can specifically see how to do that. Okay, from this, what do I have to do now? The easiest way for this one is I'm cleverly going to draw the coordinate system first, y and z and x. And what it says is you can build points just like you want. If you want, you can pick ordered pairs, x and y, and then you're going to pick z, which is 3 minus 2x plus y. And then you can just plot points this way. Every time you pick different points, you will get a different z coordinate. An easy way to do that is to look at how this interacts with the axes. For that, I think I need a negative value, so we'll show you also that there's 8 octants. And what I'm going to do is, the best way to do this is if I say, let, if I look at the point 0, 0, that gives me z is 3 from this equation, or this one. If I pick 0, 0, I get z is 3. So that gives me the point x, y, z. What point does that give me? 0, 0, 3 is the point it gives me. You build this just the way you would intuitively when you're doing sketching the graph of a parabola in the plane. We're doing the same thing here. We're just drawing in three dimensions. It's going to be a surface. 
well, again, what's the domain of this function? Do I have division by zero? No. Do I have any even nth roots? No. Do I have any logarithms? No. So I don't have any restrictions. The domain is all of R2. And what is it going to be? That point cleverly sees that at 0, 0, 3, I get 1, 2, 3. When x is 0 and y is 0, z is 3. Let's pick another point. Let's pick when x and z cleverly actually are 0. When x and z is 0, that gives me what? When x is 0 and z is 0, that gives me y is negative 3. So at 0, negative 3, cleverly, we're going to get z is 0. So that gives me the point 0, negative 3, 0. That gives me 1, 2, 3. When x and z are 0, y is negative 3. And then finally, when x and y are 0, it looks like I get 3 over 2. So at 3 over 2, 0, I'm going to get z is 0. That will give me the point 3 over 2, 0, 0, which is the point 1, 1 and a half or 3 over 2. This is 3 over 2. This is negative 3. This is 3 on my axes. I'm basically just showing a tetrahedral part of the plane which is interacting with the coordinate axes. Now I join those and I get a rough idea of the graph in a small region of the entire domain. This is how we sketch the graph of this plane. Next question. Alright, as a last example, basically I have this extremely horrible function now, which is x squared plus 3y squared times e to the negative x squared minus y squared. It turns out the graph looks something like this. Again, what's its domain? We don't have any division by zero. We don't have any logarithms. We don't have any even nth roots. So the domain is in the entire plane, xy plane. Over that, you get these two bumpy regions and this little bumpy region near zero. If you look, in particular, if you look at zero, I'm going to get at the point zero, zero. If we're going to map these again, we would do x, y, and then we would do z, which is f of x, y, and then we get the point x, y, f of x, y, which is z. At zero, we're going to get zero plus zero, and e to the zero is one. So we're going to get zero times one, which is zero. So we'll get the point zero, zero, zero. That's this point right here. And so on. When you start sketching this thing, it, this is basically the segue into the next topic we're going to do, which is level curves and level surfaces. Basically, we want to use the idea of the next topic, which is level curves and level surfaces, to help us draw the graph of these in two and three dimensions. Once we can't draw them in higher dimensions, we can at least look at level surfaces for the one more higher dimensional game of this, trying to look at graphs of functions of three variables, x, y, z. We can't draw this because we need x, y, z, and then the w, which is going to be the coordinate of the function in R4, but we can look at level surfaces and get an idea of what it would look like in four dimensions, sort of. Please subscribe right here. You'll get notifications for this video and this series and many other ones. See you next time.